Hey guys, Majo up here, and welcome to the second video in our 2D platformer series. And today, we're going to be adding in the actual level itself that our uh, player is going to interact with. So, we're going to go to our game manager here, and I'm going to make a int array. So we're going to make a private int array, and this will just be a nice, solid int array. So... Uh, we can make this very complicated and have like different like tiles, have different colors, but for a beginner tutorial into games, we're going to have a very simplistic 2D uh, platformer, and maybe in the future we can make it more complex, but for right now we're going to stick with something that's pretty simple. Alright, so I'm going to have just a standard N array, and I'm going to call it tiles, I would call it collision, might as well call it collision, because that's what it is. And I'm going to set it equal to a new int array. Actually, I'm going to leave it for right now. And we'll, sh uh, we'll initialize it here in an actual method. So I'm going to make a... Uh, might as well make it public, even though nothing's going to access it. A public void uh, load level. And we'll have string uh, string path. Because we're actually going to be using an image to load our level. So I'm going to say image uh, level image equals new image. Add our path. Import that. So now we have our level image. And I am going to do for loop and y equals zero. Y is less than level image dot get height y plus plus and do our x loop so we're going to loop through our image and we're going to get the color and basically if it's black it'll be solid if it's white it's not solid but before we do that we need to initialize our collision so collision uh, actually we're going to have a nice um we need to have private int level width and level height okay so do level width equals level image dot get width level height equals level image dot get height and then level then we'll do collision equals new int array for level width and times level height and then we'll go through here, and if level image dot get p at x plus y times level image dot get width, we're gonna is equal to black, but black isn't zero. Black is zero x f f zero 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 because tip, uh, usually you have a fully opaque image which means our alpha has to be uh, 255 or ff if you just do zero that means it's fully transparent no color but we're gonna have color but it's gonna be black so if it's black I'll say collision equals one else collision equals zero very simple uh, <laughs> not collision I need the actual index so let's get the index sorry that is the level image that get height boom and that will load in our level nicely so let's actually make one gimp so i'm going to make a level real quick now how big is our actual screen here our screen is 320 so 320 divided by 16. I'm going to make one that's specific to our screen size so that it fits nicely in there. And for each tile, I'm just going to render it the same way I render my player. It's just a solid block. Um, it's a single color. So I'm going to come in here. We're going to make a new. So it's 20 tiles across. And what's 240 divided by 16? Oh, 15. So 20 by 15 image all right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to surround the outer sides 
with black so we can't escape out of our map. And then I'm going to add some tests, so collision, like little platforms. So like here's like a little area where you can get stuck in, or maybe have like a nice little big area. Have like some point where we can test all the corners of our collision and just make a general like kind of area to mainly test our collision in. Boom. That looks, looks fine to me. That'll do fine. So I'm going to export this as to our desktop uh, here. Image image res. This will be called level and creative. Come back in here, refresh the project, and we're going to then load in our level by saying load level. And that's going to be red. Uh, we don't want to do red. Level.png. Right. So we're going to load in the level. And we're also going to load in objects later on. But for right now, I just care about collision. And we can add in more colors. So, like, so instead of just saying black and white, what if the point is green? Well, we'll load in our player at that point. <laughs> kind of dealies. But for right now, we'll just do the collision. And we're going to render. So I want to render. So when you're rendering, you want to render what's in the background first and the foreground last. So I'm going to render the background, aka the collision, behind the objects. So I'm going to loop through. Same thing kind of down here. I'm going to copy this. Paste it. But I don't want to use the level image. I want to actually use the level width and the level height boom and i'm going to do the same thing where i draw a fill rect at x times 16 y times 16 our width is 16 our height is 16 and the color will be determined on our collision. So actually, I need to check our collision. So if collision at x plus y times width is equal to 1, aka it's a black pixel, I mean a white pixel, I want to render the background. I'm actually going to render it as a color. I think a very light gray, like very light gray. I think that's pretty light. And that width, this is level width. <laughs> and I'm going to copy this. And right now, since we only have two colors, the only other color is black. And the black, I'm actually going to make it quite bright. So, 5, 9, F9, F9, F9. It should be pretty, pretty white, but not white. It might be too white. But, ooh. So I tried to run it. We got it right out of bounds here. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Level with level height. Oh, I messed those up. That should be width. That should be height. That's what caused our problem. So we'll run it again here. And we have our level. So it appears I make something wrong here. That's my image. Uh, I messed up reading this image. What did I mess up here? With height. With height. With times height. That all seems to be correct. Oh, right here. I actually put height there when I should have put width. That made it loaded in really weirdly. Let's try it again. Ah, there we go. Now we have a nice little level loaded in. But our player is just kind of floating around like a ghost. Just going through everything because we don't we don't have a way we haven't actually checked for collision yet our player doesn't have gravity so he doesn't fall down and he just kind of flies around like a spooky ghost so we're going to fix that in the next episode where we're going to add in the actual collision detection here and we're actually going to only add it in for left and right to begin with because up and down is going to be a bit special when we add in gravity so next episode will be collision detection on the left and right 
Alrighty. Comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.